Hey everyone, welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. Well, here I am on a Thursday morning. I took an extra day off for the 4th of July weekend and decided to try my luck at fishing Newport Beach again. This is a good landmark. I'm launching right next to this little pier where you'll often find people fishing right from the docks. As you can see, there's a little beach right next to it and a lot of people will launch their kayaks right off of this beach. The big advantage is that it's protected and it's a fairly easy launch. The only <laughs> problem is look at this big old wall. It's about two and a half, three foot off the beach. You need to bring your kayak over this wall to get into the water. And right now it's low tide, so it's not too bad. But if I had a heavier kayak like a pro angler, boy, this would definitely be a two person job. As you can see here, I have the Hobie Outback, which is a lot lighter. So one person can manage this job. Um, it did take a little bit of effort, but it's totally doable. So here I am about to launch right into Newport Harbor. And today I'll be targeting all sorts of fish. No specific species in mind. I'll see what I can catch on this weekday morning using only shrimp as bait. Now this was a pleasant surprise to see the bait barge back. The last time we came out here, that barge was completely gone and I think they had closed it down because of the pandemic. But now that boats are back on the water, they've reopened it. Here I'm approaching the kelp area of Newport Beach and it was cool running into, this is the Clemente, which is based out of Dana Point, which is why, where I typically fish. So it was kind of neat seeing them way out here at Newport. But they're hogging my spot. This is the kelp area. And this is where all the fish hang out. As you can see here, I land my first fish of the morning. And it turns out to be a mackerel, but look at the size of this guy. Bigger than usual. These fish are super aggressive. And here's the first calico bass of the morning. Now he's definitely undersized, so I end up releasing him. Good looking fish though. The tide's still pretty high, so you really can't see the kelp. Everything is submerged beneath the surface. But uh, sooner or later, because I'm using shrimp as bait, I was bound to catch a California sheephead. Now this one is definitely short, so I release this guy as well. The minute my shrimp hit bottom, it was just slammed by this big old sculpin. You could see I'm prepared to get my legs out of the way because of its size. You don't want this thing flopping around and landing on your leg or foot. I'll tell you what though, these are some good eating fish. Soon after catching that sculpin, I land another California sheep's head. Again, I like to measure them just to be certain that they are legal. And this one was indeed 12 inches, so he was a keeper. Now, sheep hit are notorious for their ability to steal shrimp right off of your hook. And you can see I just land there, I set the hook, but then he somehow comes off and he steals the shrimp. So this guy got away. This next sheephead, however, wasn't so lucky as you can see here. I land this fish and he turned out to be legal as well. Here's the cooler on the back of my kayak. As you can see, instead of using it as a bait tank, I was putting my catch into the cooler and using it as a live well. And they were thriving in there just fine. At this point, I'd been in, on the water for several hours and the fish were doing just fine. So 
So this is how it went pretty much all day. I was catching all sorts of fish on just one bait and here's the first rock wrasse of the day. And here's my second calico bass of the day. Keep in mind, I also caught a bunch of other fish, including several smaller sculpin, but I just didn't put them on here. They were, uh, they were embarrassingly small. They were almost the size of the, uh, the bait that I was using. So after releasing this bass, I decided to call it a day. And as you can see here, as I approach the landing point, this is reason number two why this isn't always the best place to launch and land. Because as you can see now, it's high tide. Water is going all the way up to the wall. And on top of that, there are a bunch of people, uh, kids really, they kept moving back and forth in front of my yak, making it really hard to land in this spot. But eventually, I make it through. As you can see, because of high tide, water is now up to my knees. Now all that's left to do is to haul this big old yak over the wall, and this person was kind enough to help me bring it back on shore. It was a productive day on the water. Saw plenty of action, caught a lot of fish. It was a nice way to spend a Thursday. Hey, thanks for watching OC Outdoorsman and please give this video a thumbs up.